Today, we're gonna draw our good friend's dogs. All right, so today we're going to draw our good friends, the dog. Uh, good thing about dogs is they come in many shapes and flavors, uh, but they're not too hard to draw. So we're gonna start with the dog head and uh, start with a circle like so many of my drawings do. And then he's got a nose. Um, dog noses or a muzzle, if you will, who knows if that's how you spell that. And the dog muzzle is basically you have a circle with some sort of rectangle, right? Or some sort of shape. Generally, you just bump that shape right up next to the circle. And then you pretty much have a dog face. Uh, you've got this guy. You can even, you can go crazy. You know, if you want to go crazy, just go crazy. Sometimes I feel like maybe I'm crazy, but it's okay. It's a fun kind of crazy, hopefully. You draw crazy long shapes here. I want, I would love for you and challenge you to play with this to make up whatever kind of shape of uh, a dog you, you know, maybe your dog or any other kind of dogs you have. But you can have small ones, you know, like a pug. Um, you can have, you know, kind of this shape, which is kind of like your classic dog shape. You can move them up, you can move them down. You can even get them like crazy long, you know, like a bulldog or something. So what you would do, you know, you've got some eyes up in here and then you got a nose and then you just pretty much connect them to the dog here and then you do go with the rest of it. So that's kind of how these, these dog face shapes go. You know, you've got kind of a circle with a either a rectangle or a kind of triangular rectangular thing. Uh, and then we throw some ears on there. And you've got a dog. You've got so many different kinds of dogs because dogs are so fun uh, because there's so many different kinds. So let's do a practice one. I'm going to go with your classic, your classic dog shape. And if you're going to say something classic or you're going to say something, you know, intelligent, you do it with a terrible British accent and people take you much more seriously. There we go. So, we're going to go for an eye, because we're going to do a Brady eye, although that is not what my eyes look like. That's just the, what the eyes that I like to draw look like. <laughs> Got an eye. So we bump this, it's kind of a, almost a square, right? You bump this square right up to the circle, right? A you know, little, little kiss right there. A tangent, if you will, if you're mathematically inclined. Uh, you can learn about that later. Calculus is fun about that. I digress. We're doing dogs, not calculus. Throw the nose up on the eye, right? And then you just kind of connect to his head. Uh, the, then we go down with a, a bit of a neck, right? And we've got, we'll do the body later here, but that's kind of what you, you know, that's your basic dog shape, right? Uh, and then you got your choices. We have so many choices here. You know, we have also choices with our ears. You can do, Doberman ears, like, pew, pew. like that is the, that's a pointy ear dog. You know, you've got a dog like this, you've got pointy ears. Or you can do a floppy ear dog, you know, with like, you know, just kind of a good floppy ear dog. Uh, and then everything in between, you know, you've got like a dog with some crazy long ears. What does that look like? Like a basset hound or a beagle. You got big floppy ears. You just kind of exaggerate the ears. Uh, or if you do this and you go, you know, have some crazy uh, big tall ones, you know, those can be any, anywhere between like a chihuahua or, uh, you know, or like a, like a real serious German shepherd, you know, or a Doberman pincher with these big German shepherd have ears like that. I don't have any idea. Anyway, so you, you just choose with your ears. So basically you're kind of like, you know, got a, like a dice, you know, you're like, you know what you got? You're like, oh, nose, medium length, ears crazy and floppy. And then you got a dog. I think that's kind of how God made dogs. Anyway, so I'll do it with this guy. This one, we're going to go with a bit of a classic floppy ear dog, you know. And so the floppy ear is just basically a, a, that shape or, you know, or a uh, kind of something like that. 
So we're going to go with this kind of floppy, eared duggedy -ness. Head down here. So now all we got to do is kind of like round that out and then go and erase our guidelines. Like so. And uh, yeah, right? We're almost dogged out here. You know, throw a little whiskers up in here. And then dog mouths, from this angle, from the profile or the side view, dog mouths are either not really able to be seen or just kind of just barely. You know, like this one, they really wouldn't be able to be seen because this, the, the mouth is actually kind of on the inside here. So these cheeks are kind of hanging down. So you got a good dog going on here. And then you throw hair, you know, so a little bit of, a little bit of fun hair, you know, like this, like so, you know. And if you wanted to throw like the, the, the mouth down, you could kind of do this number. Is you wanna, you know, this kind of thing. Because especially if you wanted to like, you know, put stuff in his mouth or whatever, um, the mouth would just kind of go below generally this part. So, but you don't have to do that, especially with a dog like this. So we're just gonna, I'm gonna kind of keep it classic here. And then we're going to throw a collar on because in the collar, this shape here on the collar, you can check out the video on holes. Sounds strange to talk about holes and collars, but that's actually how you draw kind of like a 3D uh, thing on his neck or her neck, as it were. Let's give it some spikies. Uh, you know, and then and we're good to go for the most part, right? Uh, that's pretty much a dog face and in the posit most positive way. You know, and you can kind of shape it out a little bit more if you want, or you can do all kinds of stuff, maybe a thick neck or a small head or a big head and a small neck and all of these things. That's basically makes cartoons is you do something one way and then exaggerate the other part. Uh, so let's look at the rest of the body. All right, so now let's work on doing a dog with its body, and we're gonna do it from the side. Same gig here. We got a head. We're gonna have, throw that down into kind of a, a circle. So we got another circle here, and then we're gonna have a dot, a line to another circle, but this circle will be a little bit smaller. Okay. Oh, Ta-da, dog, or a water molecule. The and so this is kind of how we're going to do our little doggy. All right. So these are the most basic guidelines. So we talk about the, the nose of the dog will be, we're going to go a little bit more sassy because who doesn't love sassy? I'm going to go because it's more fun. All right. Then. What we do is we're going to draw doggy eye. Do, 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 do. All right. Doggy nose. Do, 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 do. All right. And then we just kind of connect. Make sure that everything's <coughs> doing well here. You know, we can throw a mouth in if we want, but this dog isn't really going to be doing much of anything. So I don't, it doesn't necessarily need a mouth. Uh, we're going to give this dog pointy ears. Actually, we're going to give him pointy ears that go backwards. Like so. All right. Then we're going to connect the head to the, the circle here. Just kind of with some lines. All right. Then this fall around the chest. The, the dogs, uh, dogs have elbows, right? Like you and me. And you kind of have one that goes this way and one that goes that way, right? So they kind of bend towards the tail. So there you go. Doo -doo -doo. Got a, and then we will connect this circle to that one to give the dogs back. This guy up here. Same kind of idea, 
you go, one goes back, one goes forward, and then you put on the foot. So this part is kind of the important is that you have, for to make the dog legs, you, you have either the chest or the hips, and you go backwards towards the tail, and then a little bit forwards, and then foot it. And then you can put the tail, because it is a dog and has great tail, it's going to have a poofy tail. And uh, all right, so you kind of just, and if you want to draw the second foot, you just kind of do it, uh, you know, a little bit behind it. The way that you show that a foot is behind it is that you draw it a little bit back and to the side. So this kind of, it's going to do a little bit like this angle here. And the same kind of thing here. And we just part and you actually don't have to draw that, but if we want to be very accurate, because we want to be very accurate. All right. So now, more or less have your dog erase your guidelines. Because guidelines are very, very important. Don't forget them. And don't just think, I'm just gonna draw it without the guidelines, because guidelines is is for not artists. I'll tell you straight. Us artists, we use guidelines. So don't underestimate the power of the guidelines. All right, then, so then we'll get these feet. Boom, 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 boom. Here we go. It's kind of a, an H with the dog's uh, legs, with every aspect of it. You can change it. You can make it bigger or smaller, uh, you know, and then with that comes, you know, different kinds of attitudes with your dog. So your dog can be you know, all kinds of different, you know, fun dogs and mean dogs and angry dogs and happy dogs and all this kind of stuff, all right? So we could do this one, it would be like, you know, got this cool beard on that, you know, on this dog here. Uh, we got, we could even give it like a sweet, like, you know, kind of poodly afro scene kind of going. And then big, big hair up here and you can you know you've got some his ears are just kind of doing that number you know and then you've got like little birds living in here because you're like oh my gosh it's a bird and you're like what that's a bird and you're like it's a bird in a dog's hair um you know you can uh, make the dog and give him some smiliness because the dog's like dude i'm having a great time one because i'm a dog and dog's lives generally pretty awesome two i'm smiling because I got a bird living in my hair, so I'm never alone. And uh, so that's, I got that going for me. And like, I don't have a bird living in my hair, so that's kind of fun. And that's very special. And this dog is very happy about that. Uh, so then, you know, and you know, we, we can then use that and color it and do whatever we want. But here are the things that are exciting. If you want to mod out your dog, here we go. One, the nose the length of legs, the ears, and then put some disco on the tail, put some, and then you can do all kind of fun stuff, you know, right? We can put a collar on, you know, that's cool. That also, you know, is, I guess, it's like a radio control collar, but it's like, oh, that's kind of morbid to have a dog that you're radio controlling, you're like, no, psych, the dog is radio controlling other dogs, you know, with other robot dogs, and it's like, oh, meow, meow. and this a robot dog that this dog is controlling, and great stories that you can make up, all kinds of fun. Okay, let's do it again. So let's do the full thing. We're going to do the full dog. The full dog. All right, here we go. Circle. What kind of dog do we want to do? I don't even know. We're just going to see what happens. There we go. Boom. I'm going to do, oh, maybe we're going to do a big fat dog. And then the, and this back circle is a little bit smaller than the, than the front one. And then 
going to connect. That's what kind of legs we got. Decent sized legs. All right. Doesn't look like a dog to me. Wait, Brady, it's not a dog. And it's like, it's cool, it's going to be a dog. Now, what kind of mouth do we want on it? We're going to give it a big, big squarey mouth. Because this is going to be a, like a sergeant dog. A sergeant of what? I don't know. Like a bone master dog. There we go. There we go. Round this guy out. And then this is a. And this dog here is going to. We're not going to be able to see his mouth because the mouth is actually in right under here. So we won't be able to see that dog's mouth. But that's okay. We're going to give some cool little ears here. And then connect to the chest. And then the, the legs. Remember, the legs go, they kind of do this shape, right? So we got these guys. Nice. And then we kind of go back up to connect here. Similarly, this one's gonna, and this is a very statuesque dog. And then, same kind of idea. We're going to, to connect here, connect here, and then put a foot on it. He's standing like on a hill. We're gonna give him a little bit better posture. We're going to start his leg down here. Oh, that's a big, powerful, uh, big dog. There we go. And then we're going to just have a normal dog tail. Because he's so... Sorry, you know what I want? His neck is a little, neck's a little narrow, so I'm going to kind of throw the dog's neck onto the back a little bit more. And then we will erase and see what kind of dog we have made. It's like a dog factory. It's like, doo -doo 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 -doo. we're going to make a dog today. Doo -doo 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 -doo. And then what comes out? Oh, that's a good looking dog. The dog looks like it wants to rescue skiers. All right. So then uh, we can you know, give this dog like, you know, kind of a cool hat. It's kind of like a, he's like a cold weather dog. And this dog's gonna be like, or maybe it's not a cold weather dog, maybe it's a police dog. He's like, oh, like a Bobby. Yeah. And like this dog is like, I am the police. And you're like, oh, no, you are the police? And you're like, yes, I'm the police. You're like, oh, no. Dogs can't be fooled. They can't be reasoned with. And uh, so I feel like maybe I'm in big trouble if I had this dog come up and try to arrest me. So uh, this little bit that I'm doing here, like this kind of shading, I talk about in my inking classes. So you can check those out if you want. Uh, and then, yeah, we got some... And then we can decorate the dog, right? You know, like we're like, okay, cool. This dog has got, you know, what else has he got? So he's a police dog, so he's gonna have like a cool police uniform on. You know, we got a very proper. You know, he's got his badges on his shoulder, and the buttons, and like, you know. But you're a dog, so you don't necessarily have to wear pants, which is cool for dogs, but like very important for everybody else. He's like, you should wear pants. I'm like, okay, cool. He's like, but I don't want to wear pants. You're like, you're not a dog. You're like, okay, good point. Then you've got kind of this gig on, you know, maybe you've got big boots, right? You're like, I got big police boots. 
and uh, yeah, it's, and now we have like a police dog, uh, kind of doing his police thing, and maybe he's got, you know, he wants to tell you to stop, right? So he's got his whistle, he's like, and uh, he's got his whistle chain here to his pocket, and he's like, you know, trying to tell you stop all the shenanigans that you're doing, and right, you know, that kind of scene. And uh, he's like, stop your shenanigans. This is serious business. We're here for, you know, no tomfoolery going to happen. And so I put a little hair here. Doo -doo 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 -doo, you know, and uh, yeah, you got kind of like a fun dog that can do, you know, maybe he can save you if you're in trouble, or maybe he can go and, you know, arrest you if you're being bad. Hopefully you're not being bad, but maybe he, if you are, look out, this dog's going to arrest you. Um, important things, we changed his muzzle shape, ears changed, you know, ear, you know, the legs, and then we dressed it up. Uh, so let's do one last one for review. Last one for review. Last one for the ones in the back. Going where the dog head. Gonna go for the dog body. Just a little bit smaller here. Okay, we have our dog molecule ready to go. I'm gonna go with a little bit of a high nose, long nosed dog. Why? Because I can. There we go. And then, because I think it's kind of funny, and I like things that are funny. There we go, I got this. And then, I'm going to have just a little bit of fuzz on the dog there. And then, what kind of ear do we want? Do we want a floppy ear? Yeah, I like a floppy ear. I like a good floppy ear dog. Most of my dogs are floppy eared. And then, we got this guy here. Whoop. And then, we're going to connect his neck. So, kind of from the top angle of the circle here. I'm going to go like that. Looks pretty good. Connect in here. Round her down here. So we've got some dog in this. Alright, then we can... So if they're just standing straight up, they don't necessarily need to have that bend. But remember, if we do have a little bit of a bend, it's cool too elbow of the dog. It's actually this dog, I want to put his foot a little underneath him, better underneath him, just here. Like that. Cool. Very cool, cool, very cool. Then, same kind of deal here. We're going to go around it out Here, and this dog kind of goes out, and then we'll come back in. That shape can be tricky, so remember it points, the dog's leg points towards his tail, and then goes back towards his head, so that Kind of that, that shape, that little Z shape, or I guess part of a Z. There we go. Tail's going to be up and waggedy. This dog is very happy. All right. We're going to give the dog some like, you know, some like this, and then we're going to make him we put hair down here. We're going to make his ears like kind of put some hair. Make the dog kind of cute. That's what my dog looks like. I've got hair everywhere. And then, uh, yeah. And then if we want his mouth, he's going to be like, smiley dog. There we go. Whiskers up in here. So, and then we can put 
different accoutrement on him. So with your dog, what kind of, like, can you, how many different shapes can you make with this dog's face? Like, how many, can you make a tall dog, a short dog, a uh, long weenie dog, uh, like a little chihuahua, a huge dog, you know, what kind of shapes can you do? So mix and match those shapes uh, and then add fun stuff on What kind of helmet does he have on? You know, it's like is it driving a scooter, is it like on a hoverboard. Is the dog swimming underwater? You know, all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to uh, finish this guy out. I'm gonna, uh, I'll do it in fast motion for you to check out. Also, I've done other videos about how to do, do uh, how to draw dogs, like how to draw their face forward, how to them sitting, this kind of stuff. Uh, so check out those other videos. It's in my description of this video. Like, just click on that playlist, and we have a bunch of different kinds of dogs to draw. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you learned something, please let me know. Uh, give me a thumbs up and uh, give me a subscribe, and I'll continue to make more. All right, take it easy. Bye.